Hello, it's Martin from Wisely Automotive and in this video I will show you how to get your My BMW app set up on your phone so you can control some of the car's features remotely. Before you even turn on the car you need to take your phone, go to the App Store and download the BMW app. So just search for My BMW and download the most up-to-date version of the app. Once that's done, click open. And if you have not done so already, you need to set up your BMW account. To do that, you just need to tap register now, fill in the personal information, and once you are happy with everything and the password meets all of the criteria, you can tap on register now to continue. You will get an email where you need to tap the appropriate link to activate your account. Once that's done, you can just go back to login. And this is where you put in your email address and password you just created. To make sure that the app is secure, you need to create a four digit PIN. Agree to all the terms and conditions. And once you're done with all the initial setup, it's time to add your vehicle. So to start, click the Add Vehicle button. The VIN number is located in multiple spots on the car frame. I'm simply going to use the one located in the windscreen. It's important to mention that you can have a car only assigned to one BMW ID, so if you have a partner, you need to share your ID. It also means that now when I tap Continue, the previous owner will no longer be able to access the location of the car or any of its other features. The last step is to confirm that you actually have access to the car. To do that, you need to start the car to access iDrive. From the main menu, scroll to connect to drive and then BMW iMessages. There should be a message waiting for you in your inbox with the security code. If this is not the case, make sure that the car is parked somewhere where there is sufficient 4G signal. Now simply copy the code into the My BMW app. And tap Confirm. And that's it. It can take a minute for the information to appear in the app. Now you can control some of the basic functions right from your phone. If you want to access the GPS location of the car, you need to enable this through iDrive separately. To do this, from the main menu in iDrive, go into My Vehicle, iDrive Settings, scroll down to Data Privacy, Vehicle Tracking, and then enable Vehicle Tracking. You can now exit settings by pressing the menu button. Just like before, it can take a while to update, but now when you tap the vehicle finder icon, you should be able to see where your car is located right on the map. Just to quickly run through the features, you can lock the car, unlock the car, flush the headlights in case you lost the car in a car park, and start preconditioning the cabin so if it's for example the middle of summer like it is right now you can get into a nice pre-cooled car to see the status of the car tap on the stop arrow you can see whether any doors or windows are open when your next services and in case there are any faults they will be displayed under the check control messages further down you can check your charging history this is organized by month and you can see how many kilowatt hours of energy you used and the number of charging sessions. You can also set up the charge and climate timers in case you don't want to do this within iDrive in the car. And lastly, you can see the summary about your vehicle, including the exact model, the VIN number and the up-to-date mileage. 
This is not an exclusive list of features because there are some other ones like for example being able to search for nearby charging stations but all of us advisedly like to use different apps for that and we will show those in future videos. The last useful trick is being able to share locations from your phone directly to your car. So for example if you find something in Google Maps where you want to navigate to all you need to do is tap share and from the list of apps you need to choose my BMW. This will bring you into the BMW app and all you need to do is tap send to my BMW for the location to appear in the car's built-in navigation system. To retrieve the location once you are in the car go into connected drive, BMW iMessages and click on the appropriate message. Now all you need to do is scroll down onto the location itself, click to confirm and the navigation will start automatically. You are hopefully all up to speed now, but if you still have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.